Okay, so I think it's going. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I was climbing up on my ladder to see in the camera. <laughs> anyway, I got a 16 by 20 there that I did quite, quite a while back ago. I am not crazy about it. Yeah, it's a specky little dude. I mean, yeah, it's, it's just not something I want to settle for. So there's no reason to waste the canvas. Let's pour over it. It's been cured for a long time. So I'm going to do that. Now I've got all my paints mixed with two parts Floetrol. One part paint and just a little bit of water. I keep adding at the end after I mix Floetrol and the paint together that I add my water, purify slowly until it comes to a warm honey consistency. And I try to get all the colors at that same consistency to where they're the same running off the stick. So we'll see if we get some cells and Hopefully no specky spec stuff <laughs> this. Um, this is used with Artist Loft White Flow, I know that. I don't know how this happened, to be honest with you, but it does once in a while. So I went ahead and I got some titanium white. Now I used this once before, and I didn't get no cells from some titanium. But that's what I'm using. And then I'm using some deep turquoise, which is premium satin, Craft Smart. Beautiful. I made up my own type of teal. And very dark, beautiful blue type. Love it. My favorite color ever. So I mix, take turquoise, a lot of turquoise. Add a squirt, a good squirt of phthalo blue. Then a small squirt of phthalo green, and this is what I get. Then I'm using Master's Touch Lake Blue and Prism Violet. And I've strained all of them that were in the bottle, so there's no chunks anywhere. So here goes. So I need at least 12 ounces, and I sometimes like to go over because of funny looking things. So let's do it. There's no silicone in here. And hopefully we are all at the same consistency. Here is that native turquoise that I say or deep? A uh, deep turquoise it's called. Is that pretty teal? That seems a little thick. So I'm going to add just a tad bit of water to that. I thought it was right. But I just added cold water. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing good today. I am doing pretty good. Just feel like painting because I haven't for a couple days. I've been doing all kinds of other stuff. That's a little better. Same as a little thicker still. Prism purple. Prism violet. Prism. Not prison. <laughs> Then the uh, Master's Touch Lake Blue. A little 
thick too, so this is not real runny like I get it. Well, you know, I don't get it runny runny, but I usually get it thinner. I made sure and checked if there was anything, you know, funny in here or nothing. I hope I didn't view. So we'll see how this titanium works for me today. Oh, that was a big dump too. Well, I'm doing big dumps today. She's pretty. I don't like those white strips come down at the end. I always regret those. It's looking pretty. beautiful. It is very pretty. Beautiful. Ooh, that's a pretty one. This way. Oh my gosh. That's pretty. Yippee. <laughs> that is beautiful. Just the right amount of the prison violet, too. It's not like it's overwhelmed. The blueness. This is so pretty. Especially this way. Because right away I looked and I'm like, okay, I can tell that baby's going to look good this way. Oh, that's nice. 
Let me get on my ladder and make sure I'm in view for you guys. Hopefully you're seeing this. Oh, that's pretty. Are you seeing that whole thing? Yeah, you are. Well, not quite. Okay. Well, I can't get it all in view. But this way I can. That is so cool. That being the top, no doubt, that the bottom. That's gorgeous. I am really happy. Because I loved all those colors. I mean, you know. And you know what? I like that titanium. That worked good. Now let me see if that's going to spot up. Nope. Nope. It's not really specking up. But I'm gonna leave them on. Well, I do want to make sure that there's no bubbles, but usually they all pop on their own eventually. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I might speck it up. I love this. Oh, all right, let's check it out. I'm sorry if I'm not quite in view because I cannot see the screen. <laughs> That's so pretty though. That turquoise and that teal and that lake blue. Oh. That's so pretty in there. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Been struggling with getting some pretty ones lately. That one was gorgeous. See, there you go. I saved the canvas. But you gotta wait before you pour over a canvas, guys. You can't wait at least three weeks. Some may not agree with that, but you know, acrylic is like plastic, okay? And it may be dry to touch, but that doesn't mean it's dry all the way through or hardened. It has to come to a complete hardening. And you know, some will say, well, it was thin. Okay, two weeks, <laughs> you know? But, uh, you know, you can tell when it's kind of hardened. You just get used to it after a while. But I say three weeks. So this will cure for three weeks and it's not too thick. It's perfect. Ooh. It's gorgeous. I love this so much love this over here. Well, I sure hope the camera light isn't messing with the colors because it tends to do that, you know, the light does. Well, thank you guys for watching. And um, I appreciate all the new subscribers. And if you didn't know, you can always go into my description and there's a link in there to my Facebook business page where you can see the clear photos of anything I do on YouTube. So like, it's kind of, you know, in the beginning of this video, they'll kind of go in and out and it's not a full picture, still picture. Well, on my Facebook business page, there's still clear photos. So you can go in there and check them out. This is just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous right in there. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I'm thrilled with it. So I'm really happy about that. All right, guys, have a good one. Hope we didn't take too long here. Alrighty. Bye-bye, guys.